Hey everybody and welcome to another Learning Statistics with Jamovi tutorial. In this one, we're going to talk about how to annotate your output with the significant tools that are at your disposal in the Edit tab. In the Edit tab. Yeah, the Edit tab. All right, so we're going to open up some data. We're going to do some quick uh, output here so we, can, so we can talk about it. Before we do that, I'm using the most updated version, as I do with the big V here. 2.2.5 is that version, if you were listening along at the time of recording. Okay, so let's open up some data. Um, now, the easiest way to do this is by um, going to open uh, under the hamburger menu. And instead of doing my uh, what I've done recently with some videos, which is the LSJ data, which you have to get by adding that LSJ data module, is we're going to go down here to the four, uh, the four data sets that are included in the base Jamovi download, these four. So Big Five, Tooth Growth, Bugs, and Anderson's Iris data. And these are all either from actual data sets, as you can, or from actual studies, as you can see, or, you know, they were just made up. So let's go ahead and open up the Big Five data set. It's just going to open up the data for me. I do have to do a couple of um, small things. So let's, I don't know, let's do a quick uh, correlation matrix with five of these. And then we'll talk about, oops, excuse me, wrong button. And then we'll talk about how to annotate, because that's important. That's the important part of getting started with Jamovi and being able to use Jamovi to its fullest extent. Okay, so we have some output for the big five data set. This is, you know, canoe or ocean or everyone to call it. And we have a, a correlation matrix here, which, which tells us the correlations between these five measures and themselves. But really what I want to do is talk about the edit tab. So if we click on edit, it'll give us information on what we can do with this edit. We can actually click off to get not just the correlation matrix module, but see where all parts we can edit. Okay, so we can edit the main results tab. So I'm going to use my keyboard here, obviously, to type. We can uh, edit, uh, add results, ease, rock. Okay, and then the correlation matrix is, um, you know, we can add in a note here. This is big five, um, all scales entered here, or I should call them subscales, to be honest with you, because that's what they are. Uh, all subscales entered here, because then we could do maybe another big five correlation matrix and um, uh, note. We can add in notes here. Note, there is no spoon been on a matrix kick recently. The fun thing is, is because APA style requires us to have this as italicized. We can italicize that. And we can co copy this entire table now because this table is in APA style. We can now copy this whole thing and, oh, we can call, instead of having this note here, we can call this table one. Boom. And then we can title this uh, correlations among the big five sub scales um there is no spoon and then we can flag significant correlations and that note is added there by itself oh fine but we can also add a second note here the only thing we can't change in the edit tab is the quality of the, the table itself because that is hard coded with r underneath so we have the r val the, the r code which is the the programming language r the statistical language r and then with you know, make a line here, make a line here, put the variables in here, put the variables here. So we can't really change much of that. But the fun thing about this is if we do this again, we open up the analyses. This is my favorite part of being able to uh, to modify results. If we, if we go back into regression and we do correlation matrix again, we can just grab three of these and put them in. And it'll do a three and then we'll call this one only um, N, E, and O. Only Neo. <laughs> Talk about the matrix. <laughs> only Neo. Okay, and so that renames that only Neo, and then when I click back on Big Five, it brings up Big Five. So whatever you change in this heading changes it in this heading, which is amazing. And if we click off that completely, we get um, all of this in white instead of, you know, something's being grayed out. Other things you can do here is you can add in, if you want to, you can add in, uh, you can paste things, or we have all stuff available here. We can, if we start typing in here, we can actually call it Heading 2, okay, which gives us a little bit more room, so a separate a separate subheading with slightly larger text. And if we hit enter, you know, we get slightly smaller text still. So that's, so that's how that works. We can name it too. But if you wanted to, you can also put in a code block here. So um, uh, I don't know much code, but we can do data dot table. Um, and you can see that that is um, a, a thing that it knows, right? So it knows that data is a special character. I don't know any R code off the top of my head. <laughs> um, uh, open. Whee! Uh, and you can set it up like that. So if you wanted to put your put a, a code in for that, you can, um, and it'll assist with what to do next, maybe in there. Or we can do um, we can do a link to uh, interpreting interpreting correlations. And um, let's go ahead and open up. Let's grab this and let's get over here. All right. So interpreting correlation coefficient. 
Statistic by Jim. Awesome. Statistics by Jim. We can grab this link. Get rid of it. And we can do statistics by Jim. And we can highlight that. And we can create the link button. And we can save that. Or we can even make just this text interpreting correlations. We can highlight that, put that in as that as well. We click the save button. And both of those will go to both of those will go to click on that. Click on that. Visit the URL. Perfect. So that's uh, and you can edit or remove it if you want to. So that is um, another thing you can do in the edit tab. Um, you can change the way that uh, the if you can center it. You can make bullet points. Although if you do make bullet points, it gets rid of heading. You can insert a formula, which is a the one, another amazing thing is you can insert a formula here, and you can do e equals m c squared. And if you save that, it will make it look really nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. So if I do that, um, and I enter in formula again. There is a help function, and that'll open up uh, KTEX or KTEC supported functions. So this is how you enter in the um, tech functions here into uh, making your lovely, lovely uh, different, different kind of formulas. It can, it can handle all of this. KTEC is through it completely. And you can get your Greek letters in there. You can get your other letters, and you can do a bunch of stuff. It is, f and, and here are the entire set. So KTEC is all in there, KTEX. I'm pretty sure it's KTEC. If it's following the LaTeX uh, kind of thing, I don't use LaTeX for writing, but there you go. But anyways, that's how you can do that. You can also change the color of the underline or the text itself or the shading. Ooh, looks disgusting, but you can do all those kinds of stuff. You can even do strike throughs, okay, which is pretty good. Like, no, that's the incorrect answer. You can do exponents um, and we can change the indent on these so we can go further indented. So you can annotate a ton in this and you can make it color coded. You can uh, for, for teachers using Jamovi, you can make this phenomenally um, interesting things. And here's the real kicker. Here's the real amazing thing about this edit tab is if you go up to the hamburger menu and you go to save and you save it as an OMV file. So I'll save this um, as edited and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to open it on my desktop or from my desktop. Okay. So we're going to close Jamovi here. I'm going to open Jamovi, this Jamovi file. Here is the entire thing as an OMV file with all of that stuff that I did saved in the output. So that's how you set up these really rich output files in case you're sharing data with somebody, in case you're um, writing notes to yourself and you want to make sure everything is clear at the top, at the bottom, around your tables, around the output that Jamovi gives you, or you're teaching and you're using this as a way to share data through an OMV file because your students are using um, Jamovi. And so you can create these rich output files, these rich output um, displays um, showing about, you know, we can write a quite, we can write how conscientiousness is pretty decently correlated. It's, it's a weak correlation, but in this set of data, it's correlated to agreeableness and, you know, stronger negative correlation between extroversion and neuroticism, you know, something like that. And you can write that out in words and you can save that and you can always have that available for students because you've got this annotated output. Wonderful. It's brilliant. I love it. That's how you annotate using the edit tab in Jamovi. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please be sure to leave those down below. Thank you for watching.